Uh, welcome to TWR Facebook Live. Uh, I am here in Berlin, so this is uh, Facebook Live is uh, happening from Berlin. So happy to be uh, able to continuously do this Facebook Live uh, from a different part of the world. Last week it was in from Paris and. Today is from Berlin. Next one will be from Vienna. So, so the first of all, uh, how how everybody is doing? How are you doing? Do you hear me clear? Do you see me clear? Um, good to see you, familiar faces. How the practice is going? Now it's been quiet for some time. We have been kind of uh, dedicated. Everybody is dedicated to practice. Everybody, I know that everybody is practicing quite diligently. I have been doing my practice every day. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's okay. So how is everybody's practice going? So obviously, of course, that um, uh, practice is something, dream yoga or sleep yoga practice is something, it's about lifetime practice. This is not something that you do uh, for a short period of time. Dream and sleep yoga practice you do until you stop dream and sleeping. So uh, I think for all of us, it, that's for a long way idea of all the enlightened beings, Buddhas, don't dream or don't plan. So, uh, so this is exactly one of the people have asked the question. Uh, so I wanted to talk a little bit about this. It's about if someone is doing dream and sleep yoga practice every night and they begin to have fear dreams, how you can tell when they are experiencing glimpse of clear light sleep versus if they are just in a sleep of ignorance. If you can't remember your dream, that is ignorance. But how can you tell when you don't have a dream to remember? So it seems like that is hard to tell the differences. So that's a, a kind of true, you know, like some some sense, I think for so basically, all of us right now, all of us supposed to be dreaming every 90 minutes. Everybody has a dream. Uh, everybody, regardless of if you remember your dream or if you don't remember your dream, we all have a dream. And um, so sometimes for some people, uh, that their dreams are more... Uh, their dreams, they are more aware of their dreams. Their dreams are more, they guide their dreams. Uh, either it's their dream they remember or not, not having dream they remember, but it's, it's the, just basically it's more question about people are able to be aware either they dream or they don't dream. Either they have a good dream or they have a bad dream. Either they have a lucid or non-lucid dream. They're basically able to be more aware and that is, I think, what matters, able to be aware. This is, this, this specific topic, uh, we have been talking quite for some time now, I think uh, uh, since the last uh, weekend teaching in Paris, and I've been mentioning it in the Facebook uh, Live a few times, I have been mentioning it, uh, this, this, this question about... Um, that whatever your state is whatever your state is it's a good it's important uh, it whatever your state is it is the base of your development uh, if you are in pain that pain is good and that it's it's good to recognize that pain because that pain is your basis of development uh, there, there was a saying, uh, the, the famous boxer Muhammad Ali, 
he was asked question how many, how many push-ups he can do and uh, the answer was that I do not count my push-ups I only count my push-ups when it hurts when I am in pain because only then the push-up really counts so that was the answer that's a, I think it's very important very in a spiritual development is exactly the same way many times we we try to uh, practice uh, we can pretend to under, pretend to do understand something we can pretend to do practice we can pretend even to develop we are that we are developing something we can uh, spiritually look good everything is good but then but the truth is sometimes we are not able to recognize one's own conditions, one's own pain. We are not able to acknowledge the challenge, the conflict that we experience. Personal, I'm talking about the personal one. And, and sometimes when we do that, we look at that as something wrong with me. Why I should be interested when I don't like who I feel I am? Why should be I interested in this depression? Why should be I interested in this anger? Why should be I interested in this disappointment? Why should be I interested in this, this guilt, feeling of guilt? Why? And not only they ask question why, but they are successfully able to avoid um, for years and years and years they might go through therapy, they might go through a spiritual practice, they might follow Dharma, they might stay in the practicing, doing some formal practice for a long time, but the only thing what they are not doing is able to acknowledge even getting a little bit closer to their own pain. They are not able to do that. It can whole entire life can go parallel. Practice, 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 on the other side, no in touch with personality, no in touch with one's pain, because that is seen something wrong. So this question about, you know, is kind of kind of related to what we were talking here, is we dream. So it's not. I don't think that we, for ordinary people, like for for sure for me, I would not think when I'm when I'm not. Uh, having dream or when I don't remember I have a dream yesterday night I would not think about that I was because I was in a clear light that's why I did not remember dream I think this question we can leave it for now we all have a dream we all dream and we should remember our dream if we, if we don't remember our dream then, then, then recognize that we are not I don't remember my dream uh, we mentioned this before also that when you don't remember your dream, not only remember not remembering your dream, but remember to do practice, remember to do prayer, remember uh, throughout the day, send wishes and pr prayers, intentions. And before you go to, go to sleep, uh, send wishes and prayer. Because then before you go to sleep, that has been maybe 10, 11 hours past already because last night you did not remember, but now you are in the, in, in the, how you say, you are going to go to sleep. And that is the moment you need to remember that you, you are the person who don't remember dream. I am the person who don't remember my dream. Now I am going to go to sleep. May I dream, may I remember my dreams. All the guardians and angels, protectors, teachers, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Sanghas, please help me, support me here to that I can have a dream, have a clear dream and to remember my dream. Sending very clear message, clear prayer uh, from deep place. If you do that, that night is going to be different because that night you remembered that you don't remember and that night you remember to pray that night you pray that night you engage your engage energetically psychologically emotionally 
feeling that you wanted to dream. That you do that, and when you do that, definitely it will help to remember your dream. So, so I think in a sense of this question about um, when we, when we means most of us when we when we feel like we are not dreaming, is it clear light? So let's not worry about it. If it's a clear light, then you will know it's a clear light. You will know it's a clear light. So, so I think in some sense of um, um, what we need to do exercise in prayer, it's kind of making really a kind of connection. Connection between the day and night. Connection between now and the future. Connection between the past and the present. We need to build some kind of connection because we are a being of continuum. We continue existing, our past influencing present, our present influencing the future. And if we are aware of our past, we will be more aware of our present. If we are aware in our present, more likely we will be aware of in our future. If we are aware a moment now in, during the daytime, more likely we will be aware in the night. If we are aware before we go to sleep, more likely we will be aware after we fall asleep. So there's some sense of uh, building a bridge of awareness, building the bridge of light, building the bridge of remembering. And through those bridges, the, the dream and the sleep goddesses walk through those bridges from the conscious to unconscious to waken to sleep, from day to night, and you consciously ask them, walk with them, uh, feel their uh, kind of mo uh, movement as you drop yourself, fall asleep. And when you are, you find yourself in a dream, you awaken yourself in a dream, and you find there. That's, I think, is a very, very interesting, right? Interesting. You kind of, basically, you can, uh, you, you did not lose a track. You, you continue. And ability to do that, it takes time, but it's definitely achievable. For example, one of the one of the experiment you could do is like before you go to sleep, and um, uh, we talked this the the other day. Okay, let's go back a little bit about what we've been talking. Who you are as you fall asleep. This is the question about last Tuesday's uh, the Facebook Live. Who you are as you fall asleep. So let's let's sit down comfortably. Okay, let's sit down comfortably, everybody. Take out your breathe it out, any stale breath. Bring your full attention inward. Be fully aware of your body, the stillness. Be aware of the silence. And just for a moment, just clearly try to be, try to be aware of who you are this moment. This is a, like a test, what it means to know who you are this moment, what it means to know who you are as you fall asleep your identity, your personality, your ego, your pain identity, or maybe some sense of open, maybe could, you could be also be quite happy person this moment. But the point is, this very moment, you are very specific individual. 
like you have a multiple personality, one specific personality, it's active, alive this moment. Who are, who are that? Who is that? And some of you might obviously able to see it very clear and uh, you will able to see it very clear if you are one of the extreme, like if you're really angry at somebody, then you can clearly see you're an angry person. Or if you are feeling totally lost, then you can clearly say, I'm, I feel totally lost this moment. I'm lost person. Or I am totally present during this Facebook and I am completely present here listening to you as a student, then you are a student. This sense of student, devoted, focused, concentrated, you are a student, that student. So these are just some few examples, but the question, main question here is that can you very distinctively have a clear sense of, unique sense of self, who you are this moment? That is the question. Take your time. Okay, those who are like uh, w w wish to answer, you can go ahead and tell me what you feel. What you feel, are you able to clearly, distinctively identify uniqueness of yourself this very moment? Okay, the Jeff saying no, so that's a good, that's fine, that's fine. And if, if it's a no, that's very interesting too, right? Could be, I don't know. Could be, I am no one. Could be, I am whole. I am no one, I am whole. Or I am someone, so I am specific. So, so, whatever that sense of very specific is, imagine this very moment is the moment that you are going to go to sleep. Now, those you have very clearly recognized who you are this moment, very, very specifically, I don't know, like, like somebody might say, I am lost. So you are going to go to sleep, this sense of lost being. I am fortunate one. I am lucky one. I feel so much blessings. So that means this very moment you are going to go to sleep in that being fortunate one. 
So does that make sense? So you, who you are as you fall asleep, that's who you are. And who you are is not only who you are this very moment that I am talking to you, but you will be who you feel you are the rest of the night if you fall asleep this state of consciousness. That means the impact of this moment for the rest of the night is strong. It's critical. It's even sometimes incredibly, uh, how you say, uh, to be happy of, of course, if you're in the right state of being, or it could be very dangerous, kind of scary to be, to not feeling sense of loss only just for moments, but feeling lost for entire night. Feeling disconnected entire night. Just imagine, as I always give example of phone, disconnected phone for entire night will be there with dead phone in the morning. Disconnected in, entire night person will be exhausted, lost person in the morning. Okay, so let's let's go back. The sense of I, who who you are as you fall asleep. So uh, just keep on, keep on feeling, experiencing who you are this moment. I'm talking about this very moment, your experience of yourself, a very unique, very distinctive, How many of you are feeling not so happy how you feel who you are this very moment? Just say, me. I'm not happy. Just whatever. Just say. Just curious about how many of you are uh, able to distinctively identify that and recognize that and willing to admit that. Okay? So, let's look at more something that we can transform. Remember? If you say, this moment, I'm very confused, I'm lost, I'm angry. Just imagine if somebody is feeling. So that, because the reason why I'm giving example of that is that is kind of not really good state of identity to sit with, to walk with, to think, to see through, to, to act from. Uh, to to it's not good to to sleep in it's definitely not good so we need to find a way to transform that right i i am lost i'm disappointed i'm angry i as i'm as i'm sitting here listening as i am ready to go to sleep this is what i'm experiencing i and I don't want it to continue, and I definitely don't want it to go to sleep in this state. I feel that.
So that it's my pain. I am lost. That's my pain. I am angry. That's my pain. I am disappointed. That's my pain. Remember example of Muhammad Ali's push-up story that he said here, I, don't, I do not count my push-ups until I f it hurts, until I feel pain. Only then the push-up counts. So, so now your push-up is here, is the moment, is not just to, to have this experience, it, your push-up counts moment you recognize it. For example, there are how many people are there suffering? How many people have wasted their pain? How many people have wasted their suffering? How many people have not gained any clarity from their confusion? Not gained any strength from their weakness? So many people, the push-up doesn't count. That pain doesn't count. You're just suffering, that's it. It doesn't count toward development. We call, we call, how you say, nyomon suna nyomon lam chir, tokba suna tokba lam chir, trulba suna trulba lam chir. What does that mean? If you're delusion, deluded, then delusion, delusion should become your path. If it's emotion, emotion should become your path. If it's a con conceptual ego, then the conceptualization should become your path. Thought should become your path. So the pain should become your path. Pain should become as a path. Only when you recognize it, not just when you're suffering it. If, you, if you're suffering it, not recognizing it, that doesn't count. That push-up doesn't count. As Muhammad Ali said, it only counts when you, when, when, I mean, a little different from the Muhammad Ali's example of in here, would be, here it will be, not only you have a pain, but when you recognize the pain, then development starts. Everything before, like purification, trying to reflect, trying to discuss, trying to read, watch, go to the retreat, follow a teacher, almost nothing doesn't count. You can follow somebody for a long time, it doesn't really count. Unless following somebody, following Dharma, practicing, doing retreat, come to a place where you are able to acknowledge, recognize your pain, identity, and able to transcend and transform, at least to work toward that tra transformation, then only counts, not before. So you can maybe even ask your question yourself. Well, I've been practicing 15, 20 years. My, does it, have I started to develop? Have I started to develop? That's a good question. Possible? The answer is no. Why I have not started to develop? Because I have been following and teaching long. I, I have learned this, I have learned that, I followed this retreat, that retreat, I did this practice and that practice. You can count lamas, you can count the teachings, you can count the retreat, you can count your experiences, you can, you can count all of the things. Does not count. Like Ali's story, does not count until you rec recognize your pain, personality, ego, until you're able to accommodate, transform, then only it counts. So this is a, is a very question is very much for oneself. And why we are so successfully, why we are so successfully for years able to disconnect with that pain, disconnect with that identity, 
disconnect with that personality. Because some sense, we are afraid. I don't want you to go there. It's painful. Well, it's already painful. So going there might be painful if the way you have been going there with another pain. But going there might not be painful if you go with awareness, if you go with acceptance, if you go with recognition, if you accommodate in that space. So, I'm talking like this, but I'm also, I'm, I'm, I'm not moving away, what, away with what we were talking as an issue of practices, what we were talking earlier. So we, are go, we go back to the same place about saying, who are you this moment? And particularly those you are in pain or deep pain. So can you those you are in that deep pain, can you say something like, okay, I'm not going to run away from, from it. I'll sit with it. So I'm encouraging to all of you, particularly those who have a strong, disturbing sense of identity, which you have just realized, recognized this moment. I want you to sit with it. Sit, sit in that vast, unbounded space, in that self-arising awareness. In Shang Yun it says Rang Jung Yi Shi Ji. Self arising wisdom is the base. Nyomon Tunga Tsao. These afflictions, emotions, identities are just a mere manifestation. Rangsar Hubitap Leaving them as they are is the method. Niso Mepatowa When the liberation is when they dissolve in non non duality. When you leave it, they dissolve in that sacred space, they become one, they become inseparable. That is liberation. See if you can have glimpse of experience of liberation of your pain identity this moment by being with it. Totally, totally feeling it's okay, it's okay. Nothing wrong with it. I don't have to fight with it. I don't have to change it. You feel some sense of peace with it. You feel there is a silence there. There is some space there.
there is some stillness there. There is awareness there of it. Definitely it's not me. My pain, it's not me. I, I am aware of it. It's not me. My awareness of it is transcending it, transforming it. My awareness is discovering greater space, greater silence, greater sense of awareness in which the pain is accommodated peacefully. Now, and if those of you, how many of you who are able to clearly recognize the distinctives sense of self of this moment, which is not something good, and by God doing this little reflection, how, how many of you felt something has shifted there, something has changed, something has transcended this moment? How many of you feel? Just please give me a feedback here. What you are feeling? Genuine, honest feedback. If you, if something really is happening, tell it's happening. If, if this is not working, just say it's not working to working for me. A little bit more than the yes and no. And now imagine this, this very moment, now if you feel some sense of shift and change, and imagine now you are going to go to sleep. So what you, what the, your state who you were as you fall asleep, you have recognized and you have transformed that. You have transformed that. Now who you are, probably you are, you are feeling some sense of kind of opening, some sense of space in which that identity has diminished completely or much more clearer. There is a more sense of comfort and presence and warmth in that state. And you feel you can go to sleep. And imagine you are going to sleep this very moment. Okay, so uh, just again, you know, like I know like a quite number of you are watching it right now. So I would be happy to see uh, all your feedbacks to, to uh, looking forward to see this, this way in which I guide it, if it doesn't make any sense to you, does it, did it help you? Can you imagine kind of smaller version, shorter version of the same principle can, you can apply tonight before you go to sleep? And uh, the only reason you would do it, because the, the, the state that you discover and the moment when you self-reflect it was not good enough to go to sleep in that you change. It's like a going, you, you're trying to go to sleep and uh, if, and you're, and you realize the, the blanket is too thin and you realize you cannot go to sleep whole night with this thin, thin blanket. You wanted to get up and change the blanket. Or bl blanket is too heavy or too uncomfortable. You definitely don't want to go to sleep with the uncomfortable blanket. You wanted to get up and bring the comfortable blanket, comfortable bed and go to sleep. You would do that. So th this is exactly uh, you're, you're, you're trusting yourself, you were able to do that and trying to do that. That's what we're trying to do. So the last thing here, and one of our uh, 
Tibetan uh, friends, uh, Gompucha, uh, who have asked questions. So I wanted to, uh, in Tibetan, so I wanted to just briefly read this in Tibetan and answer this in Tibetan. So be patient here and I will try to also just explain also in English. So we turn a ninja with the two tongue, Namo Yarlang with the two Kadu Sangwatang, Mi Hachang a sabo mimbi milamta, Milam sala misalwata, Milam tane ma mimba soji nangne, Natu milam nangjur nyamle, chena, Tedale, Tedale kang sangams. So Tandalada, this this one we are rich, Gombacha Gutuatilla. Tak ngaco milam sebu yu bi kap tu tang, ane milam selam selam yu bi kap tu tang. Tapi milam cawan ini mami ba cungwa kap kap tang, ane tis som som di, ata som nane kar sore tanda milam milam lam ceri nyamne tola pentok cecer dobo di nyamne di kawat cekure sa tiba tinde jinsere, ane ta cawi ne Tanda Kongdong yang ini adalah syubhanan syre. Kansa susu ke, nyamling ke tokse tu me kawai ini re. Ane kansa susu ke, cik nyomo tunga ke, syuk cecung kaze yobi ini re. Kangdar susu ya ya ini ya bare, dua ini dua bare. Kang imba ti, imba ngosim bercebala kece syre. Mangce yang tu nyamling cik mangce cik cinta ke tuju samsu di cinta la. Nyamne de chochi la cha. Mune ki sozo ki kham ki, khangza sozo ki yin lu ki kham ji yorba, ti kha cha de ki, khar so re, kha do cha de ki mang bu yor. Dangana ngozo yana, peja ji jang na, shedan de khar re, changa ci, dene de la ye wa, nam ye, yang ye, chen yi, ngo, chen yi, shib tra de, jata, ma jab ji, dewa ji, jab nga jal kor la. Ta tuyong ngone tha ne ki tuyong do do gang la, Rana sosu ki jule yu de ki ki ngajal chik di mitsit parche lo chu chunga ni ngala ngwa mashin di ki tindi ya mangbu yu re. O tindi yu di ngala ta ngone tani chue nyam nene jik tohane samno ta na rana sosu ki jule yu bi ki ngajal di ngwa mashin na ngajal ki yewa namjir sama tanga chik di maate na ta nyam nene ki tokpa ki tohane nyam nene bariya ki tohane ta pento shira yu ma re chue jang wa ta chue nyam nene chibi ki ta gewa chik yu jire. Mata cik, mana tanah ini jut jual dua dah, jut member cebal dah, jut jut tholia kita bela, tak kalah khabar eh. Kalau sekolah jut di mana macam itu kalau ni tholia sekarang kalah khabar uba. Dan dah nanya sih, cerang cebal dia lewat sana, atau dah nanya dia dah, kalau sore minum sebu itu kalau sebu ya gom jatuh cik ore, sebu medu kalau masa itu gom jatuh cik ore, minum mami ber mami ber tu yang kemarin dah ceri bersama lagi. Kami gubju gubju nalar mimit sama milam minggi yer lagu ari. Ina milam tu ngosih macam ni, tenten yang kiri, oh ya tenten itu galata, sama nyamle cina jigi ari. Tapi tunda tunda do do tangga ini pegang nalar mangu jigi me. I'm so so I'm do 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 abbreviation here. Basically, you can all look at this whatever I said in Tibet and just think about as a music. Okay, just enjoy the sound and think about. Then it was completely clear. Everything was clear, right? Just think about that and maybe let go of that. I know many of you are saying, no, no, we are not going to let go of Tell us, tell us what you do, what you just said, right? Okay, so briefly, so he's, Gombachev is saying that um, when you have a clear dream and when you don't have a kind of clear dream and when you don't have a dream at all, what are, what, which, which will be the best to do a dream yoga practice? So I, my answer was simply saying, all of them are equally important to, to as a part of the dream yoga practice de because it depends on uh, what you are. If you are dreamer, you dream a lot, then dream is good for you. If you don't dream, then not dreaming is good for your development. Uh, if you have a... Uh, yeah, so basically, uh, as I said earlier, whatever the state is you are in, that's what you count. And whatever the idea of good, bad, just forget about it. It does not count. Who you are matters, how you're experiencing matters, what you understand matters, that's all what matters. So, so in that, what who you are this moment matters the most. It's like a big map. 
you have a whole map of enlightened enlightened map for the enlighten, enlightenment but most important thing is to know in that map where you are like every map most important thing the little dot says you are here we know every time when you look 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 to a map that's the point you wanted to find every no doubt everybody does that they look at the map then they look at where i am but in the dharma in the teaching in the practice in the self development people do not do that i don't know why they just looking at the destination all the time they ne they never look at where they are and that's i guess that's why we are not liberated still that's why we have not arrived there that's why probably we have not realized yet okay so thank you very much i have i don't even know what time is it so um, yeah i think uh, you, so we have uh, our time is over and um so as i can i'm my jet lag jet lag is now it's i'm kind of adjusting the european time now uh, doing a little bit better maybe you might see uh, before talking about the clear light and having very sleepy face but maybe a little bit now uh, a little bit more fresh here now so and i think uh, uh, just adjusting the time zone it's kind of a little bit i feel a little bit better so and uh, thank you very much and um, look forward to uh, see you all um, next tuesday from vienna Oh no, sorry. Next Tuesday I'm not in Vienna. Next Tuesday I'm back here. So so anyway, I'll see you next Tuesday. It doesn't matter where I am. Uh, I'll see you all. Thank you.